This is the World Athletics Podcast. The stage is set for one of the greatest shows on earth. This is the World Athletics Podcast. We're in the Hungarian city of Budapest. The World Athletics Championships. The World Athletics Championships. Budapest 2023. Budapest 2023. In this episode, we celebrate one of our sport's all-time greats. One of our sport's all-time greats. What time do you think it's going to take to win this World Championship 100? Whatever I want. <laughs> Whatever I want is what it's going to take. And I, I don't think anybody else can do it, but if they think they can, then I'll definitely be there on the line to say that I'll beat you to it. But first, day two in 60 seconds. Women's 20 kilometer race walk. For Maria Perez of Spain, this is her day of days. Astonishing oh. walking from her. Women's long jump. Ivana Vuletta. She's got springs on her heels tonight. She really has. That is the biggest jump in the world this year. Men's hammer throw. Katzberg has smashed his PB and the national record. To upgrade Orwell Silver to world gold. 800 meters heptathlon. And with a massive, massive lifetime best, it's Katerina Johnson Thompson who has taken the world title as she did four years ago. Men's 10,000 meters final. Joshua Chapter Guy with arguably the best performance of his career. The silverback delivers again for Uganda. Men's 100 meters final. It's a clean start and what a race. A huge roar from the expectant crowd. But Lyles come through. It's no Lyles. Lyles. Follow us on social media to see everything from these championships. Sign up to Inside Track for exclusive video content, detailed insights, and unique prizes and rewards, all on the World Athletics website. Occasionally in life, there comes a moment in sport so utterly captivating and uncertain, it stops the world in its tracks. In the semis of the men's 100, the drama started before they'd even run 10 metres. All star charge, lane four. So Akane Simbini is disqualified for a full start. There was no place in the showdown for the defending champion, Fred Curley. Fred, you've just discovered this devastating fact that... Hey, that's the point of the running. They was the better man. What do you think that final will consist of? Do you think there's a chance they could be close to world record? I don't know about world record, but it should be a 1-2 finish for USA. No Olympic champion. No defending world champion. But a world-class lineup of eight men. And I just believe that when I got out there, I was the fastest guy. You gotta have belief and you have to have focus. This is the men's 100 meter world championship final. In lane six, three times the world champion for the USA. És a hatos pálya, 987 éppen a legjobb idővel jutott a döntőbe az Egyesült Államokból. Tomoka, Botswana, Colma, USA, Hughes, Great Britain, Lyles, USA, Seville, Jamaica, Sonny Brown, Japan, Omanyala, Kenya. One will be the world champion. Is the men's 100 meter final. This without doubt is one of the most open races we've ever had for this coveted title. Eight athletes are about to pour heart and soul into a 10 second bid for global glory. Not sure anybody in the field has as much belief as Noah Lyles. You know, believing in myself so much that, you know, somebody might have thought I was crazy. You, know? you can talk about being great. But in so doing, you put yourself under an insane amount of additional pressure. 
set. To be honest, the goal was to make sure that I was the first to 60. That certainly wasn't the start that he got in the semifinals. After that, walk people down, use my top and speed, just do no Lyles things. Can Lyles come through? It's very, very tight. It's no Lyles! The champion rules once more! That race was close. Lyles wasn't absolutely certain he'd done it as he crossed the line. He looked over and he waited for confirmation on the big screen before commencing his celebrations. I said it couldn't be done. I said I wasn't the one. But I thank God that I am. Noah Lyles promised us gold, and he's delivered. He has roared, roared with the heart of the greatest. It's one thing talking about being brilliant, it's another to deliver. And he's done it in style. That was sensational! Listen, you're a real showman, you're one of the pin-up boys of the sport, you always deliver when it matters, you like to be loud and proud, you must be proud right now. I'm elated, you know, I knew I could do this. Me and my coach, we had that decision last year and said we're not going to do it, but this year we knew we were ready. And we came out here with no doubt in our mind, and we got it done. So what happens now, surely you just go back and relax, because obviously you've got two more golds to take home. Maybe we could party a little bit. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. Don't party too much, listen, you're on the quest to get three gold medals. Ladies and gents, he's got one. What a champion, your world champion, Noah Lyles! And he can now look forward to try and go three in a row with his favorite event, the 200. Now with the 100, there's still, you know, those spots where I just know I need to improve so much that get that world record but with the 200 all I need to do is increase the 100 that much as people look back at this year they're gonna be like this is the year that Noah won the 200 the 100 and the 4x1 and they're gonna be like that is the start of a dynasty he just needs to keep focus and he could actually come away with those three and he's gotten into the science of it over the last couple of seasons. He and his coaches and his team are just coming up with all kinds of new ways to analyze his sprinting and just get better. I was just high-fiving my coach and, you know, I told him, craziest thing is we just still got so much more to improve on. And that's a scary thought. And one thing, if you want to be a, if you want to be a champion of the world and be a star, you've got to deliver. Michael Johnson was one of those guys who stepped on the track and delivered. Usain Bolt was one of those guys who stepped on the track and delivered. And now here, Noah Lyles is delivering every time out. My coach told me if I win the double, he paying for the party. So we popping champagne like we won the championship <laughs> ring. <laughs> This is World Athletics.